Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. My name is Josh and welcome to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I just really like clothes. And so I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So feel free to follow me or subscribe to me if you feel so inclined. But without further ado, today's going to be a pickup video. If I recall correctly, it's been quite a while since I've done a pickup video. And I have quite a bit of things to show you from both my vacation in Portland, Seattle, as well as just things that I've been picking up randomly. So let's get right into it. I don't necessarily want to talk ages and ages about every single piece. However, I do want to give you the most prominent and important details about each and every piece, hopefully do an on body for you guys and just kind of give any thoughts or stories related to that item. All right, first item in this pickups video is going to be a good one. It is a Kirkland Signature Costco box logo. Not much to say about it. It's just from Costco. I thought it was funny and so I grabbed one. I really wasn't sure how to organize this video just because I didn't know whether I wanted to go shoes first, shirts, outerwear first, but uh, apologies if this one's going to be a very eclectic collection of random stuff going on. But I guess I'll start from accessories. There's only one accessory that's gonna be in this video and it's going to be this right here. This is from, I bought it from Portland from a store called Kiriko and this, oh, this scarf. Is just a vintage denim scarf. It's absolutely beautiful. There's different texture throughout the entire piece and at the bottom it has like some fringing and stuff like that. I saw this and I was like immediately drawn to it because when you like put it on this looks so cool. The different texture. Usually scarves have a really really specific pattern to them but this one is super super nice and super comfortable soft feels great and i really don't know how, I'm, how much i'm gonna wear it but it is very pretty to look at if i ever happen to want to wear it so kiriko scarf all right next up is going to be this shirt that i actually found off of a brand on instagram uh the brand itself is called harrow newman if i'm mispronouncing it i'm sorry but this is just a simple very wide cropped long sleeve shirt feels really good the quality is great it's kind of hard for me to explain exactly what it feels like on camera but a very nice basic long sleeve shirt and the main detail about this one is going to be the triple left chest pocket right over here of different sizes so really cool super cropped i have to wear this with high-waisted pants just so it doesn't like i don't like really showing my belly but great shirt nonetheless feels really good and yeah Harold Newman moving on to the next so when I was in Seattle and on my way back to the train station so that we could head back to our hotel we passed by this basically these dudes that were setting up racks on the side of the road in Capitol Hill selling vintage clothing and I was like oh, okay you know we might as well take a, a peek through and see what's going on and I found this shirt right here it is a vintage fruit of the loom tee right there in a size large which older size larges aren't you know today's standard so i did have to stretch it out just a little bit but the front graphic change ahead of course it does have that single stitch on the sleeve as well as on the bottom hem but what really really sold me on this shirt is that this is a stop asian hate from 1992 this shirt was like the fade is great single stitch love the messaging and i got a pretty good deal on it sorry my roommate's cooking in the background here but this shirt was kind of a must cop for me moving on to footwear i don't have a lot of footwear pickups as of late but there is a shoe that I wanted to do a dedicated video on and I'm not going to show that in this video but keep an eye out. It's been a while since I've done like a footwear review of something, footwear and styling. But the sh two shoes that I'm going to be including in this video, this right here is going to be the Solomon Slide. I don't know the official name for it but this shoe is super super cool. Um, very lounge weary. I wanted this to be kind of like my summer slide and so yeah super lightweight materials up top has a patch of suede very very like long-haired suede on the toe cap here um, it has a cork insole which 
if you don't know, cork insoles after you've kind of imprinted your own footprint into the actual insole by just general wear. It feels so much better on your foot because it feels like it's molded to your foot. And so, yeah, Solomon has great traction on bottom and there's not too, too much to say about this shoe. It's super breathable, really good for summer. Um, they're, they're not too, too expensive. They're, I think, uh, 110 to 120 retail. And so I very highly suggest these. They kind of give off a, uh, they look kind of similar to a uh, Solomon BBS collab, but yeah, Solomon slides. The next piece of footwear is going to be this right here. This is uh, a pair of Doc Martens made in England. I don't know the official name of like the model of the shoe, unfortunately, but uh, really cool. Actually, I have the box. Hold on, let me grab that. So for those of you who want to look this shoe up, right over here is going to be all the information that you're going to need. This one is basically just, it has of course the iconic and very, very, very standout sole that's rubber. It's super comfortable while still kind of looking like a nicer shoe. This is, it actually very much reminds me of like a Birkenstock Boston with a strap on the back. It's in this really dark black suede, which is great. I don't have very many suede shoes, but this shoe is pretty great looking, especially on foot. And what really sold me about this is that the yellow stitching that's usually on Doc Martin shoes is completely like blacked out, which is awesome. As much as I really like Doc Martens, I don't, I don't usually like the yellow stitch. Just a nice summer kind of loafer type of thing going on here. All right, next up, I'm gonna do bottoms and then outerwear. And I think that should wrap up the video. But the first set of bottoms that I wanted to show you guys is one that I got off of eBay. Um, officially, well, on the listing, it was called an M65 pant, cargo pant, which I love this pair of pants right here. So it's hard for me to get all of it in one shot, but we have drawstring at the bottom. We have mid, like around the thigh tie over here, cargo pocket and closure pockets right over here, button close pockets. Really, really cool. Let me just show you the tag real quick. But. black cargo pants really can't go wrong i've been putting out a couple of outfits with this particular pant on and yeah i really highly suggest this one i've been really looking for a pair of like just really wide baggy cargo pants because i tried on a pair of balenciaga but i wasn't willing to spend 1700 dollars for it which i think was the retail price um this one i only spent about $60 after shipping, so I saved myself quite a bit of money, thankfully enough. The next pant is kind of in the same vein. It has, it's, it's just a really baggy pant, uh, military inspired, of course, but this is from a brand called, well, a vintage shop on Instagram called Age Threads. Uh, so shout out to them. This is just kind of like a field pant. It's made of polyester, a synthetic material, so it, it is kind of loud sometimes, but it is kind of water resistant in a way. It has drawstrings at the bottom so you can cinch up the hem if you like, and it, it's just a very wide, wide leg. The pant has a little bit of darting around the knee section over here for articulation. Of course, those same like closure pockets with Cobrax buttons over here. And this is a YKK zip for the fly and a drawstring for the waist. Really, really cool pair of pants. Uh, these were like $95 before shipping and unfortunately they don't have th the black pair in stock anymore, but it looks like they're going to be coming out with more colors. So definitely keep a lookout. Age threads on Instagram. Highly suggest this one. They fit great. Next pair of pants is a pair of pants that I didn't think that I would bother buying, but I bought something from Essentials. Right over here is going to be just a pair of sweatpants from Essentials. Um, I know Essentials kind of gets a bad rap in the fashion space. Like a lot of people are like, ooh, it's really high beastie, which I mean, I can agree with to a certain extent, but I can't deny that this is probably one of the best feeling fleeces that I've ever felt. Walked by a PacSun, saw this uh, pretty much displayed out, and I was like, you know what? 
It's been a long, long time since I've ever bought anything from Fog Essentials. But uh, let's give it a go. Um, thankfully, this didn't cost too, too much. I don't, I don't really remember what retail price was, but I was like, oh, you know, let's just do it. Uh, it is the straight leg version of it. So on me, it got a size large. I'm usually like a 33, 34-ish waist now. Um, but yeah, it actually fits pretty nice over like over sneakers and chunky sneakers and stuff like that. So I'm not mad about this purchase, but one thing that I didn't like about this pant is that like right about here on the crotch area, it did have that fear of God branding. So I just cut it out because I was like, I can't have a brand just over my crotch. That just feels wrong. But I don't know if you can see where I took it off, but yeah, 1977 on the left thigh right there. Just an expensive pair of sweatpants. I actually think the color's really nice. Uh, I think the fit's really good and that's kind of what sold me. But one more ranting thing that I have to say about Essentials. Oh my goodness, I do not like that you cannot try Essentials on in store. I don't know what it is. Like, apparently when I asked at PacSun, I was not allowed to try anything on. And like I confirmed with other friends and stuff and they were like, yeah, no, they don't let you try it on. It's apparently just a rule. And I was like, I do not like that rule at all. I wanna make sure that the thing fits right when I buy it. And so it kind of irked me that I couldn't try it on, but I took a chance with a size large and it worked out for me. So yeah, I'm a size large, 33 or 34 waist, uh, just a pair of essential sweatpants. Next up is a pair of Comaware Hourglass Cargos. I've been kind of on the hunt for these for a while, but resale price was ridiculous. Up until now, you can actually get them for around close to retail, if not a little bit under retail. But I was able to get this from my friend in Portland, so shout out Tate, I really appreciate it. But Comaware Cargos. And the amount of detail in this pant is crazy. So when the zipper on the back is completely fastened, it's like a straight leg. Yeah, it's like a pretty straight leg pant, but then when you unzip them, it becomes this really nice flare. And over on like the front over here, there's a pocket at the bottom of the leg that you can open and keep whatever you feel like in there. But this pant, is so cool of course it has a cargo pocket and then on the waist it has kind of waist adjusters too so great great pair of pants cobrax button uh riri zipper well i got a size large like i said i'm about a 33 or 34 waist they fit me just fine right over here i'll show you the tag mm, but yeah I do not regret this purchase. Tate gave me a great deal and I love this pair of pants so much. All right, next up is another pickup from uh, Portland. Uh, I got this on 2nd Street, not on 2nd Street, but it's a store called 2nd Street. Great secondhand, uh, secondhand and vintage place to shop. It's in Hawthorne in Portland, but they have a lot, surprising amount of designer stuff. Uh, there and it's all secondhand so prices are a little bit cheaper albeit it's not the cheapest you can probably find better deals on grailed but it's cool to just stumble upon things and second street's just a cool place to go so i got a pair of rick owens dark shadow drop crotch just drop crotch pants i mean i'm sure you guys know i love drop crotch pants and these just are dope I had to do a little bit of repairing on the back, but it has the iconic Rick Owens pockets at the back. They're super thin, so they're actually gonna be really solid for um, wear out in summer. And yeah, I think I got these for like a little less than $300 or something like that, which for a pair of Rick Owens drop crotch pants is a pretty, pretty good price. And yeah, super excited about this one as well. I keep saying I'm super excited, I mean like, I wouldn't buy it if I wasn't excited to have it. So these next two pairs of pants that I'm gonna show you guys are from a designer that I have just absolutely fallen in love with. I got originally introduced to this designer in Glasswing, which is a boutique out in Seattle. So shout out Butch. What really, really sold me on this designer is that the silhouettes of um, 
his pieces are perfectly suited to my body type, which is unheard of. Usually designer things just don't fit me all that well. I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, right around 190 to 200 pounds, and so like not the tallest man in the world, and little stout, little stocky, but uh, Yan Yan Van Esch clothing fits me absolutely immaculately. So let's get into the first pant. Here we go with this first pant right here. Like the waist is like super, super wide, but the tag right here, I got it from Second Street of all places. So this is a second hand pant, but Yan Yan Van Esch, this is from his main line. Uh, it is just a very big pair of drawstring pants that have these very interesting pockets to the side and it tapers pretty heavily down the leg but it is also a very drop crotch, very slouchy look. What I really love about Yan Yan Van Esch is that it it mixes both Rick Owens, like the crazy like drop crotch things and interesting silhouettes with kind of a Japanese Americana approach. So there's more color, but there's all they're all like kind of earth tony in nature and yeah, it's literally just a mixture of Rick Owens and Japanese Americana, which speaks to me like and the next pair of pants is going to be a pair of pants from a line associated with Yan Yan Van Esch. So this is called O Project. I don't know if you can see it all that well. It's like really washed out, but the tag is literally just O. Uh, this pant is a size medium, but a lot of their silhouettes are very like, very, very large so that you can kind of cinch it in and it'll fit better. But this is a pair of denim, really like, just wide, wide, wide leg pants. So it has both a drop crotch and a super wide leg, and it's also selvage. So from my understanding, O Project is still by Yan Yan Van Esch. However, it's made in Japan using usually Japanese material and selvage denim and stuff like that, which is just so great. It has a incorporated belt with that you can like cinch in and just, my goodness. This thing, when I tried it on, I was like, I'm sold. And albeit it was super expensive, but when you find something that like fits your body absolutely perfectly, it's really hard to, or at least for me, it's really hard to refuse on something that basically feels like it was made for my body type, which is super rare. But yeah, Yan Yan Van Esch, definitely, definitely check this designer out because he is, some next level stuff. Next jacket I got in downtown Seattle. In downtown Seattle, there's an Arcteric store and we just so happened to come in and there was a jacket that I was like, this is really cool. It started to rain quite a bit, which it's not that I wasn't expecting it, especially in the Pacific Northwest, but I was like, you know what? I need a better jacket in case I ever like have to be in the rain. But this jacket right here is an Arcteric's jacket. Um, it looks like it's from the Valence line, but it's it's not. It's a mainline Arcteryx thing, and what I love about it is that the only piece of branding on this jacket is this super tiny Arcteryx logo on the left shoulder. But I believe the name of the jacket itself is the Acropole. I'm not 100% sure. A Acropole? I could be wrong, but it was something similar to that and I got a size medium, which I usually never go for a size medium. Usually large is kind of my go-to, but they didn't have a size large in stock. And when I tried it on, I, that day I was wearing some drop crotch Rick Owen shorts and I thought the kind of fitted top, especially like, you know, throughout like up the neck and fitted throughout the shoulders and body, mixed with the drop crotch of my Rick Owen shorts at the time, I was like, wait, this just looks really, really cool. And so I had to buy it. And it wasn't all that expensive. Usually Arcteryx is pretty pricey. This one was like, I think 130 maybe. And the last thing I wanna show you guys in this video is my absolute favorite, favorite item that I have purchased as of late. And I'm so excited to show it to you guys. If you're ever in the downtown Portland area, definitely check out a shop called Nakamuraya. The owner is super, super friendly, super nice, and his, his curation of goods is so very good. They sell anything from like Japanese designers like Undercover and Means While and other things 
to like vintage stuff and it's a very tiny 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 space but the, the very few things that he carries is always like so cool and so this is a means wild jacket if I'm honest, I don't know very much about Means While, so I'm definitely going to do have, have to do some research and kind of, you know, delve deeper to appreciate this jacket a little bit more. But uh, I spent a pretty penny on this, and I am not regretting it at all. Um, as far as he told me, he was like, oh yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is probably one of the only ones, or the only one, in the U.S. And so he, re he only had one, and this thing is beautiful. So... Let me show you the tag real quick. Means while wow right there. And so if we're looking at the front here, it has this life preserver-esque front that is actually a folded in hood. So you can unfold that and it becomes a hood. These cargo pockets on the front. Sleeve is super, super wide with these like nylon straps detailed throughout. And then a cargo pocket on the right shoulder. More nylon strapping around. And the sleeves are kind of this like thermal material. So it is like super utilitarian looking. It's really, really, really nice. And I don't regret spending a ton of money on this, but it is, it is also really cropped in the body. Uh, I got a size four. It was the only size he had, the only thing that he carried, uh, the only thing, the only version of this that he carried in the store. And yeah man this thing is beautiful absolutely beautiful so this i'm probably the most excited about out of all the things that i picked up in this video and that is just about everything that i can show you guys so far that i picked up as of late uh, i'm super super excited to incorporate these things into my wardrobe and i got a lot of outerwear which i mean it's summer right now and it's incredibly hot in las vegas but uh, I have plenty of time to cycle things out of my wardrobe and replace them with these things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your time. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And until my next video, I will catch you guys later.